In the early days after the Great Flood, a united humanity sought to build a tower that would reach the heavens. They called it the Tower of Babel, and it was to be a testament to their collective strength and ambition. The people believed that by constructing this colossal tower, they could make a name for themselves and avoid being scattered across the earth. The tower rose higher and higher, constructed of bricks baked in the scorching sun and held together with bitumen. Its foundations were laid in the fertile plains of Shinar, in the land of Mesopotamia, where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers flowed. As each layer of the tower reached toward the sky, the people's pride grew. Seeing their audacious endeavor, God, the Creator, looked down upon the tower and saw more than just a monument to human achievement. He saw a hubris that threatened to undermine his divine order. In their unity, the people had become arrogant, believing that they could rival God's sovereignty. To curb this arrogance and disperse humanity as he had originally intended, God took a decisive action. He confounded their language, causing the people to suddenly speak in different tongues. Confusion reigned as they could no longer understand one another. What was once a harmonious symphony of voices became a cacophony of incomprehensible sounds. This linguistic disarray shattered the unity of the people. They could no longer cooperate effectively on their tower. Arguments broke out and communication crumbled. The construction of the Tower of Babel ground to a halt. With their shared vision now shattered and their tongues divided, the people abandoned their tower and scattered across the earth, each group forming its own community based on language. This event marked the birth of diverse languages and the dispersal of humanity across the globe.